Hi, my name is Steve Robleski, and I have the privilege of serving as a superintendent of LaSalle Prue Township High School. I want to begin by asking you a question. When you think of LP High School, what images come to mind? Well, I bet if you're like me, you've identified the clock tower, the spires, the auditorium, the mural outside of the library, and Howard Bellow Stadium. These are historical features that give our district amazing identity. And they're very important to our community. And they're very important to our Board of Education, who has made a commitment to maintain these historical features. But the reality is that it has been over 50 years since there has been any substantial renovation to our campus. And we've reached a point where we've needed to develop a plan in order to identify what we need to do to be able to ensure that our students are learning in a 21st century environment. Well, three years ago, our board created a strategic plan. And one of the components in that plan focused on facilities. And the primary charge was to develop a long-range facility plan that would bring LP High School into the 21st century, yet maintaining the unique historical features of the district. Well, I'm pleased to report that over the course of four meetings, uh, over 40 individuals this school year have been involved in developing a comprehensive long-range facility plan. And I'm excited now to turn that over to several members of the planning team that are going to tell you more about what that experience was like. Thank you very much. The facility plan began with, uh, first of all, the collection of community members, people who are familiar with the facilities that here at LP, such as teachers, uh, other types of staff members who don't play a teacher role, and it also included a bunch of community members. We're looking at parents, uh, mayors, people who are no longer affiliated with the school but still have a general interest in, in the community and what we're doing. Um, and so what we did is we first began with uh, a needs assessment. Where, where does LP stand? And a lot of that we already know, um, but there's also the case of what don't we know? What do we need to find out? So it was a, a big survey of uh, not only what what is the physical layout of LP, but what does the community feel about it? Um, and from there we built a vision. So it was a collaboration through a series of meetings. Uh, when you walk onto the campus of LaSalle Peru Township High School, it's like walking onto a campus of a, a small private college because of the Gothic architecture, because of um, rooms such as this, because of the auditorium. Uh, it makes you feel like, wow, this place is really pretty special. Um, years and years and years of, of learning and knowledge has gone on here and people have gone out into the world from here and done great things. The current trend that I see um, and that many people see uh, is, is, is trying to keep our old world buildings as they do in Europe and then on the inside bring them up to date to 21st, maybe even a taste of 22nd century facilities so that um, we can keep we can keep our historical aspect but we can go we can move forward into the most recent and newest developments. Uh, the conceptual plans that we're developing right now uh, they take into account um, larger classroom sizes for 21st century learning uh, they, they, they reallocate space within the existing building plus um, add additions to the building uh, to make the amount of square footage that's needed uh, available to the district. Everybody could agree that this is what we need for the future. This is what we need to properly educate our students. So when we look at the, uh, the main facility from the exterior, it looks great. You know, it's been well maintained. Um, however, when we, when we really take a close look at the, uh, at the interior of the facilities, um, they are, they are still uh, configured as they were in 1938 and 1927, which are not um, up to uh, today's educational standards as far as classroom sizes go, as far as, uh, even, even as far as lighting goes and technology. If you could come back to LP High School in 1927 and take a tour through the main campus, 
you would find classrooms that would have desks in straight lines, probably bolted to the floor, with a raised platform in the front of the classroom that would allow the teacher to have his or her stage um, to be able to lecture to, to their students. And that was the norm for that time period. Fast forward almost 90 years and the learning environment has changed so very much. In today's learning environment, there is such a focus on the need to be adaptable, to have flexible spaces that would provide students and teachers opportunities to collaborate and to work in teams to be able to uh, focus on key critical thinking skills. But it's also going to provide for flexibility that will allow future generations to be able to adapt and evolve in the learning space. The concepts that we've come up with, we, we've thought a lot about um, moving forward, how we can make those concepts uh, mimic, not, not, exact, not exactly match the buildings, but definitely mimic the buildings and, and, and honor the architecture and the history of the existing main campus. So, um, I can guarantee you won't have a big glass box attached to the building. <laughs> the committee functioned extremely well. I think that when, um, when they made the decision to, to stick with uh, the original architecture and blend it with the old uh, architecture, I think that um, it will lend itself far into the future uh, in, in looking back and saying, oh, thank God they did that. On March 18th, 2015, the LaSalle Prue Township High School Board of Education approved the conceptual plan for our long-range building roadmap. I can't begin to express enough thanks to the nearly 40 individuals representing our community, our parents, our staff, our students, and representatives from our elementary center districts as well as the community college that gave up many hours of their time to help develop this plan. Now the plan has been approved by the Board of Education, we'll be spending the next several months sharing greater details of the plan. We'll be visiting various communities, as well as scheduling presentations and building tours here on campus. Please visit our district website or our Facebook page uh, in order to find the dates as well as the locations when we'll be speaking out in the community. We also encourage you to visit the Campus Planning Project site on our website where you will find all of the materials related to this project. There is also a link where you can provide anonymous feedback to the district to share your thoughts and insights on our plan project. We are really excited about this plan and we really look forward to having many conversations with you as we move forward to ultimately developing and building a 21st century campus here at LP High School. Thank you very much.